Hey guys, Adam Frimmer here from DIYPhotography.net. We're joined here by Jack at the Sigma booth at Photo Plus 2019. We're going to be learning a little bit about the Sigma FP. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of Photo Plus 2019 is sponsored by Luminar, an AI-powered photo editor. Photo Plus, immerse yourself in the world of photo and video. Cozy Speed, the fastest camera bags in the world. And Spiffy Gear, lighting for storytellers. So Jack, the FP is finally here. What can you tell us about it? This was announced in July. It is the world's smallest full frame, mirrorless, interchangeable lens camera in market today. It's a 24.6 megapixel backlit Bayer CMO sensor uh, in a very, very compact package. So this is actually a Bayer sensor, which is new for us, because from what we know, Sigma has been known for the Favion sensors. What happened? Sigma is very committed to the Foveon sensor. We have a Foveon camera on the roadmap. Um, but for a, full, a very robust Cine and still camera, we released a Bayer pattern sensor camera. Awesome. So we're excited to see more about that later. Uh, so tell us about the camera. What can it do? What's our, what are the features we can expect to see here? As you can see, this camera is really compact. It is just a very small box with the sensor and the buttons on it, and the lens mount. It's very extensible though. Here it is with uh, an eye level viewfinder. As you, you can plug in a grip here, you can plug in a, any number of accessories. We've got a hot shoe accessory here that is also great for a mic that is perfect for video shooting uh, on a tripod or a lightweight gimbal. Um, we've interestingly, re we released the 3D schematics of the camera and there's a number of companies that make riggings and accessories for cameras that have already started working off of our 3D diagrams in order to make accessories. So the ecosystem is growing and the patterns are out there. People are going to be creating for the Sigma. Exactly, exactly. And if you go to sigma-global.com, you can see there are seven different styles of the camera in use cases set up there. Uh, it'll do live streaming without an uh, encoding board through the UVC. Um, and it's got right here, Cine to Still. Yeah, I was noticing that. So this, you, you advertise it as a cinema camera, but I'm seeing all the buttons and all the features. It actually looks like it's a pretty robust stills camera as well. It is. It's very robust camera for still and a very robust camera for Cine. Um, it's very, very customizable. It's, there's, I mean, so many accessories and so many ways to configure this and how to find the way that you're going to use the FP. Uh, it's a creator's tool and no two creators are identical and nobody's going to want to craft their camera exactly, but there's a number of starting points that you can. One thing that's very cool is the lens, right here as you can see the camera strap, these are both quarter 20 points and there's another quarter 20 point here. The accessories all have more of those connections. The little hand grip that goes on here, we have a small hand grip and a large hand grip for people who want that more DSLR feel can add the grip. If you want the hot shoe attachment, that's going to go right on here. And then that's got another couple of connection points. So this can be put on drones, it can be put on gimbals, it can be rigged out for a cine, and it, it, pretty much the sky's the limit. Very interesting feature, if you can see this detail here, is this right around the edges is a heat sink right. in order to keep the sensor cool. And you can go into the menu and you can see the sensor temperature to make sure that the uh, sen sensor temperature is uh, in a good working range. Do you have control over the fan? Do we hear it at all? There's no fan. You don't. Oh, it's... Yeah. It's... That's... Yeah. Good job. Nice move, Sigma. Thank you. <laughs> um, so in terms of uh, frame rate and resolution, what are we looking at? We've got 12-bit DNG. To an external drive, we've got 8-bit DNG internal at 4K. Uh, on the dot .mov side, it can do up to 120 frames per second at full HD. So lastly, it's a stills camera, it's a cinema camera. The question most people want to know is how does it perform in low light? I saw that there was an unbelievably low ISO number, and from yeah. what I heard, you can go unbelievably high. Yes. Uh, with the expanded ISO range, it goes from ISO 6 to ISO 25600. So that is a very, very workable range. And that ISO 6 is absolutely fantastic for working outdoors, even with fast apertures, to get very slow shutter speeds for, you know, sort of motion of clouds and water. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a really incredible camera. 
All right, Jax, thanks so much for showing us that. That was the Sigma FP here at Photo Plus 2019. We're going to be touring the booths for some more content. Make sure you stick around for that. Also, don't forget, we have a giveaway. You can check out more about that in the description below. Oh, my God.